Hitachi and welcome to Around the World in $40. And today we are exploring wine and cheese. I know the choices can be overwhelming, but fear not fellow foodies because you're about to learn how to arrange the perfect marriage between wine and cheese. So pack your senses because we're going on a mini European tour and we've got expert guides. Our first stop, France. A little area called Sancerre. Awesome. Where they specialize in a white wine called Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. This is a very clear wine with little hints of green in there. The color can tell you the age of a wine. Okay. And in this particular case, this is a very young wine, so that's why it's so bright. All right, here's to our first one from France. Very fruity and, uh, and light and fun. Now I want to eat with this. What kind of cheese do you have for me? In yes, we have a French goat milk cheese. Foodie tip. When it comes to white wine, you can never go wrong with goat cheese. This is called Bicheron. Okay. It comes from the French word for log, and it does look like a log. When, with the soft cheeses, I always recommend to use some bread. Oh my god. You guys really got this through, didn't you? Oh, this is perfect. The goat cheese is going to be lemony. It's going to be citrusy. Mm, white wine goat cheese. Basic. And now we're going to... We're going to Spain. This is a 2014 Alvaro Palacios Camas del Priora. Mm. Yes, this is a blend. This is primarily Grenache with uh, a few other grape varietals. And you are getting a lot of fruit flavors. Yeah. Um, on the nose, you can smell a lot of red berries. Mm -hmm. On to my favorite part. That's my favorite part. <laughs> delicious. It's got that fruitiness, but then it also goes down very smoothly. It's not as heavy. I cannot wait to try the cheese that you have in store for us and help. Uh, we're in Spain. Everybody knows, from Spain, everybody knows manchego. That's yeah. why we don't have manchego here. We have like a cousin <laughs> of manchego. Okay. The cheese is called Zamorano. You are going to have different layers of flavors. It's going to start being almost sweet. Mm -hmm. It's going to turn to nutty, and at the end, it's going to be almost peppery. Foodie tip. Pairing wine with cheese from the same region is an easy way to ensure your duo will get along. Old world wines are almost created to go with the food mm -hmm. that is most dominant in that area. And now for the final stop on this matchmaking European tour. We are stopping in the Piemonte region of Italy. They are known for the best, some consider, mm -hmm. of Italian wines, the king of Italian wines, and that is Barolo. You want to give it a taste? Yes, please. All right. If this has a lot more tannins it to does. it. It does, very tannin, right off the bat. Right off the bat. These wines have to mm -hmm. stay in barrel for at least three years. We're going to have a Northern Italian cheese, it's mm -hmm. called Piave. In this case, the red label tells us that it has been aged 12 months. Where the first flavor is going to be fruit, caramel. Mm. Oh, it is very nutty and it has a very strong and complex flavor, a lot like this wine, and I can already tell it's going to pair well. Guys, thank you so much for helping me out. Now, the wine labels aren't going to be as intimidating as they used to be in the stores and hopefully I can, I can pick a good pair just like this. And for all of you out there, go ahead and tweet us at The Daily Share with hashtag ATW40. Thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you, NL. And we'll see you again next time. And I am going to actually finish all of our little tastings. See you again.